So good morning, everyone. I'm really pleased to have you with us today uh, in the name of the whole organizing team here in Vienna and also in the name of the project. Um, the project that is in charge of organizing this is a EU research project called Virtual Brain Cloud. We will um, um, explain and inform about this a little bit later more in detail. My name is Niklas Forgo. I'm the uh, principal investigator for the University of Vienna in this project. Um, and as always, the PI has all the fun and other people have all the work. So my role in this is simply to say welcome to you and then to learn a lot from the speakers and to listen to you. But the organizational tasks were mainly taken care of by Michael, who is with us at the moment, and Catherine and Emily, who also are with us and everything that goes uh, in the way expected today is due to them and everything which goes wrong is due to me. I apologize already now for all the glitches and all the errors that will certainly occur because as you know, all these new formats are relatively new to most of us and all of us are in a rather experimental phase um, so far. Um, I, I would like to stress some uh, very simple housekeeping rules here um, and explain a little bit about the format and what exactly we are doing here. So this is um, a Zoom webinar, meaning that the panelists are uh, visible and can speak freely, whereas the audience can listen and can comment by text. Um, that means that uh, the general audience not, uh, does not have uh, the microphone and the camera activated for two reasons. The first one is obviously technical one. There are all kinds of issues when people don't mute their microphones, etc. And the second one is also a legal one. You can listen to this um, and, and, and are not monitored in any way. If you want to speak and, to want, and want to be visible, uh, that's also possible. We would then authorize you on a person by person basis um, according to the request that you make in the chat. Everyone can comment and can ask questions in the FAQ section and also in the chat. So if you want to be visible and if you want to speak and you are not a panelist, kindly let the organizers know. We will make this possible on a case by case basis, obviously. But the main communication channel for everyone not being on the panel is uh, text via chat and FAQs. We are streaming this in this moment on YouTube, but the, the link uh, of YouTube is not made public. The only reason why we are doing this is that we want to keep the file, um, keep, the, keep it recorded and we record it via YouTube primarily. Um, uh, we will edit this after the, after the conference um, and make this available. If one of the speakers is not fine with this and has not made us know this so far, this will be the very last moment to let us know uh, in order to avoid the, uh, the recording, uh, of course, not the making public. Um, and in parallel to this, I'm also storing this uh, on my local hard disk here just to have a backup. Um, again, if you have an issue with uh, being uh, on this file, uh, kindly let us know. We are only storing uh, the videos and the audio, not uh, the, um, uh, the debate by, by, uh, by itself. Um, I mean, the text-based debate. Um, all this, um, as I said, is organized by, by the University of Vienna when it comes to the technical part of this. So if you have any issue and any question about the technical implementation, kindly address those questions to the Vienna team. Um, Apart from this, we have a rather strict agenda, as you might have seen, uh, so I kindly request from all the speakers uh, to, to stick to the, uh, to the time plan. Um, and I kindly request everyone for your understanding that we really will try to be on time uh, with this hall, because different from, from a real, real world conference, uh, people cannot adapt to the situation if they are uh, displaced everywhere in the world. Um, which means that we really need to be strict with the timing. Uh, kindly understand this. Thank you for this. Um, I think uh, this is all from the housekeeping part. Um, I would now, uh, with your permission, hand over uh, to Michael, uh, whom you hopefully also see here. Uh, Michael uh, will make the introductory moderation. And as I said, he is the one, uh, one of those who really need to be praised for making this possible. Thank you, Michael. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Nicolas. Uh, good morning uh, from Vienna. 
I'm also very happy to welcome you to the GDPR Impact Conference as part of the VBC Research Project, the Horizon 2020 funded project. Together with my colleague, Emily Johnson, we will be, who is also on the screen, we will be moderating you through today's conference where we will moderating, be moderating two sessions each. Uh, the Virtual Brain Cloud project is a project uh, which goal is the development of a cloud-based platform for biomedical research and clinical decision-making that helps to improve early patient-specific diagnosis and treatment uh, of neurodegenerative diseases and has substantial um, potential for a significant socioeconomic impact. Our task in this project is to develop um, basically robust solutions for legal matters and together with Alzheimer Europe, um, also ethical matters and to make sure in the end uh, that the project is in line with data protection laws. We're also contact point in any legal matter as part of our role. Um, as Nicola said, we were also assigned to host a conference on the impact of the GDPR on such projects. As you can see, or maybe you can see from the agenda, we will cover in this uh, conference a variety of legal, ethical, societal, and scientific aspects, which affect the many dimensions um, such a research project like the VBC contains. The presentations will also show what issues a collaborative project like the VBC confronts and, um, and will also point out the many legal issues we are always or every day uh, addressing. To mention just a few, this includes privacy, security, discrimination, and self-determination. We will also hear about presentations from non-legal professionals like engineers, scientists, and other academics, for example, from the field of informatics, that highlight once more the need for an interdisciplinary approach when it comes to innovation through digitalization. We will hear about the patient's perspective, the use of digital doctors, machine learning based medical applications and the potential of health data being catalysts for innovations. By focusing on the GDPR, we will cover aspects of data protection by design, and how this interacts with research progress, cybersecurity requirements, data protection standards when it comes to the use of artificial intelligence, data sharing issues also in a comparative approach, for example, compared with the eBrains infrastructure and transparency obligations. With our other emphasis being artificial intelligence, we will also hear about regulatory, so policy approaches, bias and discrimination and problems encountered in related research. All of this shows the vast nature of data protection and in the end also the far reaching applicability of the GDPR. It furthermore reflects uh, some of the everyday tasks that uh, we deal with in these uh, research projects and depicts also the many questions or the open questions that still require discussion and clarity, both by um, academia and practice. Uh, in this way, it is our job to fill the gaps and foster research whilst protecting uh, personal data. So once again, I would like to give you a warm welcome. And uh, before I begin with the introduction, maybe some uh, more details for Zoom. So the first thing for the speaker is, is that um, you will be moved from the audience in a moment to become panelists. Uh, then we commence through your presentations. And once that is done, we'll start the discussion. And once the discussion is over, we will be moving you back to the audience and then we have a break and then the new session starts. And for the audience, um, we would kindly ask you to use the chat for technical issues or any other questions and the Q&A session that you find on the bottom uh, for questions relating to the discussion and to participate. And the, the other option for you to participate is to actively speak. Uh, 
where you will be recorded as well. Uh, and in order to do that, uh, you need to raise your hands. And time permitting, we will try to, to make you a panelist. So we move you to become a panelist as long as this, your specific question is answered. And then we'll move you back to become audience. So once again, um, if you have any technical question, please use the chat.